everybody, it's Tuesday night and I just got done watching 1999's The Mod Squad starring Giovanni Ribisi, Claire Danes, Omar Epps and Josh Brolin. Uh, this I've seen a few times before. Uh, it's based on the uh, TV show by Buddy Ruskin uh, that ran from 1968 for five seasons. And I've never seen that series before. Uh, I hadn't heard of it until I first saw this movie and I learned that it was based on that show. Um, so uh, I don't know how much this is like that, uh, but I have heard nothing but bad things about this movie, particularly by people that are fans of the uh, TV show. Um, and you know what, I really enjoyed it the first times that I watched it, uh, but not so much this time. Uh, it tells the story of uh, three delinquents, uh, uh, Jill, uh, Julie played by Claire Danes, uh, Pete played by Giovanni Ribisi, and Lincoln played by Omar Epps. And they're all convicted kind of uh, 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 felons for uh, uh, arson, uh, robbery and assault. And one of the cops at the local precinct, uh, Greer, takes him under his wing and creates this little uh, unit uh, because they're perfect for going undercover because nobody would look at them and Im immediately assume that they're cops. So he sets them a task because uh, there's uh, a drug ring going on and some dirty cops and he wants them to investigate. Except he gets set up and killed and they get implicated, uh, so they're questioned and, and the dirty cops are, are keeping an eye on them and stuff like that. So they have to go like above and beyond to uh, with no resources to solve the case uh, because, you know, this kind of uh, father figure to them in a way, you know, was the only one who had any faith in them and, and they want to live up to that and, and just solve the case and show that they can do it. So really that is all this movie is about and for an hour and a half long movie it's amazing how, I have the same problem with the X-Files, uh, I want to believe. It's amazing how time passes, and yet when you look back at it, it feels like nothing happens. Um, the, the script is really lax, the, 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 there's just not much substance here. Um, it's got an amazing soundtrack, it's got, you know, I mean, the funniest thing is, is a lot of movies, their purpose of rebooting old shows or something is to modernise it. But this goes with the most 70s soundtrack ever. And <laughs> the funniest thing is, is it sounds like the main theme for uh, uh, Driver, the old PlayStation game. So I was just like, wow, I feel, and because I use that theme for my review of that game, uh, I was just like, wow, I feel like I'm playing that game again. Um, it's just, doo -doo 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 -doo, and all these horns and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, it's an amazing soundtrack, but it just, I, and it's not even the acting that's bad. They just don't have very good scripts. Uh, and just not a lot is said and a lot of the time I feel like I feel like I've walked in halfway through the movie it feels like um, this is a sequel and I should know what's going on now I don't know if it is a, 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 a direct continuation of the TV show I mean, my God, what, 30 years have passed, so I, I would think not. But it just, a lot of the, like I say, you don't really have any character development or that. You don't really get to feel the characters all that much. And 
a lot of the times it, it does. It just feels like I walked in and, and shit's happening and I'm just like, wait, what? And even the bad cops, I don't feel like there's any real explanation for them or you don't really get introduced to them or anything like that. And I, I don't know if they were given a set time and they just didn't know what to do at that time. But if this needed to be longer to properly show us the characters, then maybe that's what it needed. Uh, but it's not that this is an awful movie. It's just very vanilla <laughs> and and I just don't like that feeling of feeling like I've tuned in for episode two of, you know, uh, I feel like I've missed the pilot and I have no idea who these people are uh, and, and that shouldn't be done in a movie, especially when it's, you know, it, it's its own standalone movie. Um, and. I mean, it knows it's ripping off a lot of the kind of uh, cop drama thriller tropes, you know. I mean, it makes fun of them, like the abandoned warehouse and, you know, they do the whole, you know, oh, we better not, you know, I feel like we should be saying I'm getting too old for this shit. And then one of them says it slightly later. Um, I, I, I enjoy the actors. I just otherwise do not feel there's much to this. Uh, and it's kind of sad because I love my undercover cop movies and, and stuff like that. And I genuinely enjoyed this the first time I watched it. Maybe I'm getting cynical with age. Maybe I've just, you know, done too much reviewing. I, I don't know. I just... It's just very average. I'd only give it a 5 out of 10. Um... It's just very flawed. Um, like I say, not the worst movie I've seen, um, but it's very, very difficult for me to, you know, like, call it good or great or, or really particularly recommend it. Uh, you could do a lot worse, but I wouldn't pay to see it. If you're desperate to, to, to watch a good undercover cops movie, there are a lot more, there are a lot better than this. Uh, if it's sat on your shelf, you have not had a chance to watch it yet, then do check it out. Uh, but don't go out of your way to track it down. Uh, even if you're a fan, I have to laugh because uh, Claire Danes looks a lot, and I mean a lot, like Maria from Silent Hill 2. And it's really distracting. I'm sat there like all the time just going, should play Maria. That's really annoying. <laughs> I really felt like I'd stepped into that. And that's another thing that even the costumes feel slightly 70s in this movie. Um, it, it doesn't feel very up to date. Um, but yeah, no, just whatever. It's just very blare. Uh, and and very average. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. There's not much more I can say about this movie. Um, that was 1999's The Mod Squad. Um, please, if you've seen it, if you really like this movie, please let me know. Because there is an element of me that still kind of likes it. Um, I guess maybe it's just a time killer. Uh, and, and like I say, you could do a lot worse. Um, but yeah, no, please let me know your thoughts if you've seen it or that. Um... Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you again as always tomorrow. Uh, I think we've got a chick flick tomorrow so sorry guys um, but uh, looking forward to seeing whatever it is. For now though this is Sketch signing out.